Hello, this is Sanaris, and I'll be showing you how to add new perks and new ranks to existing perks using the Creation Kit. First, let's add two new ranks to Bullseye in the Archery Tree. Go to Actors, Perk. Let's filter out Bullseye. You can duplicate this in two ways. Duplicate, and then rename. It'll ask you if you want to create a new object. No, we'll rename this object. Select no. It'll ask you to confirm your rename. Or the other way, just go in here and go to rename the original object and click yes to creating a new object. Now let's first we need to set the next rank of bullseye to be bullseye rank two. All you need to do here that will create it as another rank. Now let's go to rank two and set the rank on it to be bullseye rank three. And change the description to say 30% chance paralyzed target. Now change the requirements down here instead of quick shot. Change rank two, require bullseye rank one. And just change the description does not change what happens in game. So we need to go to perk entries. Then change the condition from get random percent of 15. Pop up a warning. Like all the warnings, just click yes. Now change this value over here to 30% chance. And what that does is apply this spell created for the bullseye perk, Paralyze. Now we've finished with this rank. Now for rank 3, let's go ahead and change this spell to last longer. And under magic spells, I've already got a bullseye filtered. Duplicate it like that, or rank 3. Yes, and here it says Bullseye's Paralyzed has a duration of 10 seconds. Open that up. Let's change it to 20 seconds. Very, very long time. Now we've added the new spell. Let's go back to the perks and change Bullseye rank 3. Since it's the top rank, we don't need to set a next perk. Change the requirements again from what it has to bullseye rank two. You go down and change the entry. Thirty, say forty-five percent. Click here. Change the spell to rank three. Now it has a forty-five percent chance. Paralyze for 20 seconds. Change this up here from 45. And let's add a little bit to the description because the players will see this in game. That paralyze will last twice as long. Oh, I think I've misspelled paralyze, but the creation kit does have a spell checker for us. So we leave the name as the same because we're just adding ranks. And that's all we need to do to add new ranks. And then the game will automatically detect it if you've set it up properly. Now we're going to add a new perk and adjust the skill tree to create an alternate path. Let's pick to sneak backstab but we don't want backstab to be one-handed anymore let's change backstabbing for two-handed we'll go here open up the backstab let's change this from one-handed to two-handed in the description but we are going to need a new name because this is a new perk the players will see in the tree so 
two-handed backstab. Does not have a next perk because there's only one rank. And we need to change the requirements from, let's say, instead of stealth, to backstab with two hands, you need to be able to backstab with one hand. And up the skill required from 30 to 45. And they don't do six times damage at two. It does four times damage. Or you could go in here and change the two to a three to make two handers do six times damage. It still thinks it's one hand, so we need to change the weapon from one handed to two handed. So now we've created this new perk. And it works with two-handed weapons, but we need to still put it in the skill tree. Let's change Assassin's Blade to give us a different path instead of picking Deadly Aim. So we'll duplicate this. So we can either pick Deadly Aim, select OR, or being able to backstab with two hands. And that's all we're changing here. Let's go to character, actor values, select sneak, and this will bring up the perk tree. To right click, add perk, filter out backstabbing. Let's stick it over there, but let's make some room because this is how it will show up in game. You might need to play with this a little bit to get it to look how you want. Unsnapping from grid helps a little bit with arranging your new perks. Now you got it where you want. You link them just by clicking and dragging. Backstab to two hand. And then drag from two handed to Assassin's Blade. And this will look like it should in game. And here we are in game. Under the archery tree, we can see now we have three ranks, 15% chance, a 30% chance at rank two, and 45 with a longer paralyze at rank three. Also, in the sneak tree, now from backstab we have two paths. Here we have our new perk, two-handed. We could go to Assassin's Blade without having deadly aim. Let's show you now. It does four times damage. Our arrows which paralyze for a long time. Like I said, and special thanks to John Preston of SPSU and his CGDD 3103 class, Application Extensions and Scripting. Thank you and happy modding.